MCQ question number 12 in this question we have been given that a current I is uniformly distributed over a wire of circular cross section with radius A now suppose the current density in the wire is proportional to the distance from the axis and it is expressed as J equals to KX where K is a constant we have been asked to calculate the total current present in the wire now to approach this question first of all we know that the area perpendicular to the surface or perpendicular to the flow is pi a square so current density can be expressed as j equals to current upon area that is i upon pi a square now j varies with x as given in the question so we can write i that is current equals to j dot da where da is the area vector area vector can further be expressed as x dx d phi so our final equation for the current will be i equals to integration of kx x dx d phi where integration has been done from 0 to a now if we simplify this question or this equation we can further solve this current expression as integration of 2 pi k x square dx where 2 pi is the integration of d phi which is from 0 to phi and if we solve this question further we will get our current as i equals to 2 pi k a cube by 3 that is option c mcq question number 19 given that the magnetic flux through the closed loop pqrsp is phi e the line integral from p to r along pqr is phi 1 then we have to find out the line integral from p to r along path psr so according to figure the total magnetic flux along PQRSP is clause integral from PQRSP a dot dl equals to phi. By taking parts along PQR and RSP respectively, we will get line integral from P to R a dot dl plus line integral from R to P a dot dl equals to phi. Given that the line integral from P to R along PQR is phi 1 so phi 1 plus line integral from R to P along RSP A dot DL equals to phi that implies line integral from R to P along RSP A dot DL equals to phi minus phi 1 by interchanging the limit of the integral P to R along PSR A dot DL equals to minus of phi minus phi 1 that is equals to phi 1 minus phi. So the required magnetic flux from P to R along PSR path is phi 1 minus phi. Option B is correct. MCQ question number 20. Given that two infinitely extended homogeneous isotropic media of dielectric constant epsilon r1 equals to 2 and epsilon r2 equals to 5 respectively, both media separating at z equals to 0 as shown in figure and that boundary is charge free. A uniform electric field is given by E1 vector equals to 2 i cape minus 3 j cape plus 5 k cape in first media. In this question, we have to find out the electric displacement vector d vector in medium 2. So, we know that if there is no free charge at the interface, the normal component of displacement vector d vector is continuous at the boundary or d1 perpendicular equals to d2 perpendicular. And also we know that at the boundary E1 parallel equals to E2 parallel or parallel component will be equal in media 1 and 2. So uh, by D1 perpendicular equals to D2 perpendicular, epsilon 1 E1 perpendicular equals to epsilon 2 E2 perpendicular. 
सो ए टू पर पेंडिकुलर इक्व टू टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई फाइव डिवाइड बाई फाइव दैट इज इक्व टू टू वेर ई वन पर पेंडिकुलर इक्व टू फाइव सो ई टू वैक्टर इज इक्व टू ई वन पैरल प्लस सॉरी ई टू पैरल प्लस ई टू पर पेंडिकुलर दैट इज इक्व टू टू आई केप माइनस थ्री जे के प्लस टू के के वेर ई वन पैरल इक्व टू ई टू पैरल सो बाई द डेफिनेशन ऑफ डिस्पलेसमेंट वैक्टर डी वैक्टर इज इक्व टू एप्सलम आर इन टू ई टू सो डी टू इज इक्व टू एप्सलम नोट इन टू फाइव इन टू ई टू दैट इज इक्व टू डी टू वैक्टर इक्व टू एप्सलम नोट टेन आई के माइनस फिफ्टीन जे के प्लस टेन के के ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन इन दिस क्वेश्चन अ लॉजिक सर्किट हैज बीन गिवन टू अस विच हैज टू इनपुट्स which are been applied to a nand gate and an or gate and the output of these two gates is further being applied to an or gate now we have been asked to find the correct truth table from the four options given to us we can easily see that the first nand gate that is been applied with the inputs x and y are that it will give us the output as x dot y ka whole bar and the second or gate will give us the output of x plus y the final output that we will get will be an or operation of the outputs of these two gates so the final output we will get as x dot y ka bar plus x plus y and if we apply all the input operations to it we will get that the correct option is option a where we will get all outputs as high mcq question number 24 in this question we have been asked to find a simplified logic expression for the following logic diagram given to us now we can see that in this logic circuit two inputs a and b are being applied to an nor gate and two inputs a and c are being applied to an and gate and the output of these two gates that is the nor gate and the and gate are further applying it to a nor gate so the final output why we can express it as a plus b ka bar plus a dot c whole bar which is equal to a plus b bar over bar dot a dot c ka bar this expression can be further simplified from de morgan's theorem as a plus b dot ac whole bar which can further be simplified to a plus b dot a bar plus c bar and if we open the bracket we will get our expression as y equals to a dot a bar plus a dot c bar plus a bar dot b plus c bar dot b this expression can further be simplified by taking c bar common and in the bracket we will get a plus b plus b dot a bar which will be our final expression and the correct answer will be option a